Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be covering everything about auto clicking. I'm going to be showing you a super easy way that you can set up an auto clicker. You'll be up and running in less than five minutes. It's the simplest way that I know how to do it. I'm also going to cover if it is against Polarium's rules, if you can get banned for it, all that type of stuff. I'm a Polarium moderator, so I can let you know their exact stance on it. And I'm even going to show you a clicking device for a phone that I actually bought myself, so I'm able to review it. I'll let you know all these different methods, how they work, and all of that. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to dive in and discuss is whether or not you can get banned or get in trouble for running some sort of auto clicker and like say you load up a thousand energy and when you go to bed you just start running the uh some sort of some sort of dungeon the dragon or something over and over and over all night and you're sitting there spamming keys uh running running raid 24 hours a day whatever spending thousands of energy can you get banned for that the answer is no you cannot Plarium has publicly stated they are not going to be pursuing uh, going after people that use some sort of auto play mechanic to run a dungeon over and over and over. They're not going to be pursuing banning those type of people, and you are free to use it. They have publicly stated that. They've publicly told us that behind the scenes. Uh, Plarian moderators like myself, uh, we use auto clickers overnight sometimes, or even during the day sometimes if we're going to be AFK. Uh, I actually don't use them that often, but I do do it. Uh, the, typically, the, the most I use an auto clicker is like for the Minotaur. Uh, I know it takes about 2100 energy. I'll load up 2100 energy and I'll slam an auto clicker and you know I'll come back in 90 minutes or so and, and it's done. I'll do that when I'm like cleaning my place or I'm going to go go for a workout or something. I'll, I'll Minotaur grind a character. Uh, that's typically the the most I do it. Um, I will sometimes grind like potions. I'll load up a thousand energy and grind some potions or something when I go to bed. Uh, but but yeah, so you, you're totally cool to use the method I show you in this video. You are not going to be getting in trouble. There's plenty of content providers and Plarium moderators that use auto clickers and are totally open about it. Do it on stream, all that stuff. So you are perfectly fine to do everything I show you in this video. And the the way I'm going to be showing you how to auto click is going to be on a pc a, a laptop a, a desktop computer something like that um it gets i know there's ways to do it on apps and getting certain programs and stuff uh, i'm going to show you the way that i do it the easiest way and uh, i know on ios as well it was a little bit tough for me to get like a program to do it for me but i actually bought one of these devices that I was able to find on Amazon for $50. Uh, I bought this like six months ago. I thought this will be great. I can put it in the drawer at work and like have it clicking my phone all day so I can run so I can run stuff all day at work and not have to sit here and stare at my phone while I'm at work because uh, at my job I could check my phone every now and then but I couldn't really like stare at it and click replay constantly so I thought this would be great I get to work in the morning I hook it up I throw it at my desk close the drawer and uh, I'm just nerdy enough to admit that that was a thought going through my head and something I was wanting to do I can I can be honest with you and admit that so so full disclosure, I did buy this thing for $50 uh, and my review of it would be, it did actually work. Um, it was super kind of cheaply built, uh, but, but it did work. You could like uh, attach it to your phone and it would, uh, and it would sit there and click uh, one spot over and over and over and you could set it to how fast you wanted it, wanted it to do it and stuff. So it did work. The only problem was it was actually super loud. Uh, so even if I put it in my drawer, it was like, <laughs> Like, and I was like, okay, I can't have this thing going off in my desk, uh, clapping against my phone all day. So, uh, I, I couldn't even use it at work because people would always be, um, you know, if anybody was around me, they would be like, what is that sound? So, so I ended up not being able to use it at all. Uh, it's actually in my car, like in my glove box. I haven't used it. Uh, that, that first week I tried a couple different times to use it, but, uh, I ended up only using it for like 30 minutes total. Um, and, and it's like in the glove box of my car now. So, uh, it's not even something I use, but I didn't want to give you a review on that. It works, but full disclosure, if you're trying to use it discreetly at work or something, uh, it, it is kind of loud. So, so do take that into consideration. Uh, and make sure it's something you're only going to want to use at home or in a place where you don't care if you're able to hear it or not. But now to get into the meat and the potatoes of the video, I'm going to be talking about a program called 
auto hotkey and uh, my experiences coming from the Diablo 3 community we use this all the time uh, why do I have random offers popping up here live anyway okay um, but anyway yeah we used auto hockey a lot we have we, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this program or you can do something super simple like I'm gonna show you where it will just spam one key over and over and over but we had this thing uh, you know dropping things out of our inventory and changing skills and I mean you can program this thing to move your mouse and click and then and move your mouse a certain amount of pixels and do crazy things with this but for this we only needed to spam a key for us so I'm actually going to down in the vid description I'm going to put a link to this auto hockey site so you can download this you just click the download auto hockey installer boom you'll have it it's a super small download easy to use and and then I'm gonna put a a file down there it's a dot ahk file so it's an auto hockey script um, and then you're gonna have the auto hockey program installed to run these scripts and then I'm gonna put a link to the file that I use to spam the uh, the the autoplay key on the play and play client then you'll have the program you need and the script you need so let's switch it to the main monitor view instead of the game view and I'll show you what I'm kind of talking about here so um, now on my computer I already have the auto hotkey installed obviously the one the the program that I linked you to and now here's the two things I want you to take note of right here on kind of the middle left of my monitor are the two things I'm gonna be kind of showing using to show you in the video so uh, spam R this is the file the auto hotkey script file that I'm gonna have a link in the vid description that you can download this is the file that I use now for these dot ahk files you can right click and what i like to do is go to open with notepad and this is the script itself look at this super super simple it's just this that's the code uh and and when you run this auto hotkey will run this script now you can make these things a hundred pages long to do all sorts of advanced stuff for you but i just need it to spam one key for me over and over and over so it's called it's gonna loop send r r is the key that is uh for for replaying a stage on the play and play client so it's gonna send r sleep 500 uh so the uh, auto hockey scripts they function in milliseconds so if i set this to a thousand a thousand milliseconds is going to be one second so it's going to spam it once a second i set mine to 500 so it's going to do two a second every half second it's going to send r so that's what it does and return means it's, gonna, it's just going to go back to the loop and then we have it set here to have f8 be a pause now if you want this to be a different key you can set this to whatever you want you don't highlight it and then press the key or anything like that you literally just type it so so let's say you want it to be F10 instead. You would literally just hit backspace and then type one zero. And now you've got it changed to F10. You would have to save it to for that uh, for that change to take effect. And then you'd have to close the script and reopen it. But um, I like mine being F8. So I leave it as F8. That's my pause and, and, and resume button. So I can leave this thing permanently open. And then whenever I go to bed or something, I want to run a dungeon, I get everything set up and then I hit F8 and it's going to run it all night. So that's the script and you'll see uh, what, what it looks like. I'll show you via a text file what it looks like when I'm actually running it. So we don't want to save any changes. Now to find your script, you're going to be down here in your system panel and you can see here spam R. That is my auto hockey script running. Now what you can do is exit it. That's if you like make a change, you want to exit it and then rerun it. So you can see I'm going to go to my spam R, execute it. And now it is down here and it is ready to rock. So let me pop open a text file so you can see it in action. Um, you can see it when I when I double click it to run it it's default to be going with the script that I have then I can hit F8 to stop it and now it is stopped it's not gonna be pressing R anymore so I leave that and so so this is what my computer's like during the day it's just ready to go my script is open and whenever I need it all I gotta do is press F8 and it is going so you can see here uh, blah 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 all day then okay I'm going to bed and we're ready to go I'm gonna hit F8 and now it's gonna hit R twice a second for the rest of the night until I come back and hit F8 again like so and then it will stop so super simple way that you can get this to function and I'll show you how it works in game just in case you're curious I've got it running and we go to the dungeon right now is a dragon event so it's a it's a time where I may auto click in the dragon we're gonna click on go and, and now after we click start that's when we can start our auto hotkey process so I'm gonna click start and then I'm simply going to hit 
uh, make sure you're 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 uh, you're you're active here on the play and play client. That way, the client is going to receive the key that is being sent. And then I just hit F8, and now I know that it is spamming the R key. If I if I want to test it, I can simply like click on. Uh, an, an internet browser window or something where I type in an address and see if it's spamming R or not But then I know it's active. So now uh, When the stage finishes with no hands I should fire up a replay of the dragon because it's sitting here spamming the R key Which in the play and play client is short for replay. So here you go. No hands And you will see that it starts a brand new dragon run because it is sitting here spamming R twice a second for me and boom there it goes so now that's up and running and then let's say i wake up in the morning i get back to my computer okay boom f8 and now it is not going to be spamming r anymore and when i finish this run it will stop or you know odds are you'll be out of energy or whatever you just hit f8 you go about your day or you can go down in your taskbar and close it and you will stop the script from running so should be super simple for you guys remember links to that stuff will be down in the vid description if you have any questions go ahead and let me know i i try my best to check comments and get back to you guys it is hard sometimes uh to, to keep up with with every video that i've done i've done hundreds of videos by now but especially if you leave it within the first uh, few days or so i'll try to be good about checking it and uh and getting back to you guys if you have questions but it should be super simple and you can see it's not going here but if i hit f8 three two one go now it's going to start the level it hit the r key and started going again so yeah i hope this helps you out if you were looking for a super simple way that you can get set up within a couple minutes and be autoing uh you know replaying stages overnight and auto keying and uh you know macroing your stages and all of that to do a bunch of auto farming so i hope this helped you and as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace